What's up guys, this is Abhinav for iGyan. Now, a lot of our viewers had been requesting a gaming review on the LG Optimus N-Line, so finally we decided to give in and here is our review of the gaming abilities on LG Optimus N-Line. Let's quickly go through the specifications once. It comes with a 4.7 inch IPS display that has a resolution of 540 by 960 pixels. Under the hood, it is powered by a 1 GHz dual core Cortex A9 processor coupled with 1 GB of RAM and runs on Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. Let's start off with Angry Birds. Now the first thing you'll notice as soon as you pick the device up in your hands is that it is quite light and feels quite good in the hand as well. Unsurprisingly, the game plays out quite nicely on the device and as you can see even the colors are vibrant and there are absolutely no lags. Now I'm really sorry for the pathetic gameplay as I have never really been good at Angry Birds. So we were quite bored while playing Blood and Glory on the device. So we decided to try a different version of Blood and Glory and now we have Blood and Glory Legends for you. Now as you can see, the gameplay is quite good and there are no notable lags and we don't really have any complaints as far as Blood and Glory Legends on this device is concerned. One issue we have with the device is the sound levels. Though they are loud, but as you turn on the volume to the maximum level, it tends to get a bit scratchy. So you won't enjoy volume at high levels on this device. So let's move over to Dead Trigger. We've been playing this game since a while now and it's quite fun. So we recommend our viewers to try this game on their devices as well. The game is playing out quite nicely on the device and it is absolutely lag free but one issue we faced while playing Dead Trigger on the device that there were some glitches in the graphics during the gameplay on the Optimus L9 but they weren't as prominent and hence not a big reason for concern but still worth mentioning. So time to shift to Asphalt 7. Now we managed to download Nova 3 on the device but as it turns out the game isn't compatible with the L9. So Asphalt 7 is one game that we knew would test the real gaming capabilities of the L9. So let's see how well it does. We were expecting the L9 to hold up pretty nicely during Asphalt 7 but it somehow disappointed us. Though there are no notable jerks or lags but still the game isn't playing out as smooth as we would have liked. Again there are no complaints other than that. So finally, it's the time for a verdict. The LG Optimus L9 is quite an attractive device and is probably one of the best in its price segment. So if gaming is your preference on a smartphone, the LG Optimus L9 might just be the perfect device for you in this segment. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Abhina for iGyan. You can catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and do subscribe to our YouTube channels, youtube.com slash and youtube.com slash TV. Thanks for watching.